Hi everyone. In this unit, we're going to be discussing N R G. N R G. Get it? N R. Oh yeah. Just energy itself. And with this concept, um, what we'll find out is that in trying to define energy, it's really not that easy to define. However, I would sit there and say that the concept of energy is most central to all of sciences. Um, the combination of energy and matter make up the entire universe that you see. Um, you, you either see matter or you see energy, and, and that's basically what it is. Although I guess there is some stuff called dark energy and dark matter, but we don't have a handle on that stuff yet. So. Um, Matter is a substance, and energy is the mover of substance. So I would agree that the idea of matter is relatively easy to grasp. I mean, it's stuff that we can see, you can smell, you can feel, it has mass, it occupies space. But on the other hand, energy is kind of an abstract idea. We can't see it, nor can we smell it or feel most forms of it, okay? And not surprising, the idea of energy was unknown until relatively recently. Um, even Isaac Newton had really no idea what energy was, or is, I should say. And its existence, energy, was still being debated until the 1850s. So although energy is familiar to us, it's kind of difficult to define because it's not only a thing, but also a process, kind of like a noun and a verb together. And it, it really is central to, to everything, to all sciences. Um, if you've already taken a chemistry class, you may have studied chemical reactions. Well, um, this may look familiar to you. You have energy on the y-axis, you have the reaction over here, you have your reactants, <laughs> and there needs to be some activation energy. Uh, you can speed that up using an enzyme, but then the products end up being at a lower energy state. So it gives up energy in this particular case. <laughs> um, biology, this may look a little bit familiar. You've got a plant cell here and you got some light coming in along with some water and then there's uh, the, the Calvin cycle with carbon dioxide over here and then sugars, the products, and oxygen. But all of this is to sit there and produce ATP, energy. Okay? Um, so again, it's central to it. And again, there's just so many different types of energy. Uh, this list is not exhaustive, but it kind of sits there and gives you a sense that, wow, there's a whole bunch of different types of energy here. We have nuclear energy, what is what's powering the sun and what's keeping the earth warm. Uh, chemical energy, you know, burning stuff and food that you eat is chemical energy. Um, electrical energy like, you know, lightning, electromagnetic energy, radio waves, uh, visible light, um, thermal energy, you know, the, the ice cream that's melting versus, uh, you know, hot soup that's here. Mechanical energy, you know, moving automobiles versus leaping frogs. There's just so many different types of energy, but it is all energy. Okay, um, we will concentrate in this unit primarily in the mechanical energy, and to make things um, even a little bit more complicated with this, um, even matter itself is condensed, bottled up energy. And this was famously sort of shown with Einstein's equation e equals mc squared. For a certain amount of mass, um, you can translate that into a, a huge amount of energy. And, you know, this is how nuclear reactors produce energy. They, they break atoms up and the mass, they destroy mass. And therefore, it's, you have energy that comes out of that. So, um, so it's difficult for me to define what energy is. Um, again, we can kind of 
we kind of know it when we see it, as they say. And in this particular unit, um, we will start off on some related concepts, um, primarily work and, and giving uh, at least to have a definition of it. So I'm hoping I've shown you, or at least given you some insight into how expansive the idea of energy is, you know, NRG. Um, it is difficult to define, but it is everywhere. And um, so hopefully this is some help, and we'll see you next time.